Okay, guys. What's up, Scorpio? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future. The situation. Any obstacles in your way. And the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with. Somebody around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Also, I'm having a 50% um, off on my Etsy shop tomorrow, Wednesday. Alright, Scorpio, what's going on here? Immediate future for Scorpio. He has a Seven of Swords at the bottom, so he could be done with an Aquarius. That's a sneaky card. Hopefully not. Alright, the Ace of Wands. The World. Give me one more. It's almost like something is... It's either just a thought or it's here for the moment. Yeah, the World and the Devil. Capricorn Energy. What you got coming towards you is some type of temptation. This is proud. This is a person. It could be a situation. Um, it looks like somebody's been trying to figure out how to like either apologize or communicate. But the devil can represent so many different things. I mean, this can just be an addiction. This could be a person. Whatever it is, it's temptation. and never lasts long. It comes with a various highs and lows. And always just kind of comes back to the same place. It never just, it never elevates. It's, it's kind of predictable. Show me this Ace of Wands for Scorpio. It's like something that might change with the season. The Knight of Swords, you could be dealing with a younger um, air sign. The Nine of Wands. This is something, see, with the Nine of Wands, that's the Wounded Warrior card. So you've been through this before. There was, like, something here, and it could be, like, sexual. It could be whatever it is towards for you, right? But um, it looks like for the time being, you may have put this behind you. Or you've tried to move past it. You've tried to block it out, but it's almost like it always, it always shows up. So with the world here... It's that's that's also Capricorn energy, but it does look like you close that chapter or you are closing that chapter. So the higher thing could be done with the Taurus for some. Um, that can be a lot of things. It could be like a, a very controlling marriage. It could be oh, for some, you know, something religious related. Or you could have done it for those reasons. Like something, something just wasn't at your standards. Whether you knew it or not. Show me one more for this world. The Knight of Cups. So this could be your energy. You could be dealing with a younger uh, water sign. Doesn't have to be the moon in the fall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. You got to freaking, for some, somebody's coming to propose. But be mindful, uh, or like, let's move in together, let's take things to the next level. For some, though, this could, uh, if this is not your reading, don't take it, because what I'm about to tell you, you know, if it's not yours, don't take it to heart. But there could be, like, a proposal that comes in there, like, some type of addiction or codependency here. This could be for some, not for all, remember. Um, like, I want to see this devil, because this could be, like, a marriage that ends up really controlling or, like, show me the moon. First, let's start there. For some, I mean, you do have a, you'd have a proposal coming that you don't see. Hold on, I dropped a card. But you definitely have somebody spying, somebody stalking. Um, 
for some, there could be something like along the lines of, I don't even know how, like it could have something to do around like a family event. Okay, somehow it could be somebody in the family. Show me this devil. I mean, not the proposal part, like doing some spying. Because this could also go to stalking. It's like almost obsessive. The Empress, Taurus, Libra, Energy. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. They definitely have feelings for you. But the Empress, you're like sitting on your throne here. Don't, uh, don't be naive, I guess. Show me this Empress. Thank you. The Eight of Swords. The Page of Wands. It does look like you're nervous. Like, whatever this is makes you incredibly nervous here. But remember what I was saying about this wand. Like, you know, you move, you, you got it, it pops up, you, sh you move past it, and now it's here again. That page of wands, I don't know if I was saying that, if I said it out loud or not. But it does look like you're curious about it. Oh my. <laughs> Just trust your intuition, because, I mean, maybe, you know, there's somebody else spying in the background. It already looks like with the Queen of Swords, you're, you, you may be a little skeptical of this anyways. But it does look like you're curious. The Eight of Wands, movement, communication. Alright, Scorpio, there you have it. Got juicy. Alright, I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading or phone reading, that's below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time.